what I'm doing is I'm uh, creating a base for uh, the sitting Sam and uh, I need to figure this out oops whoops a daisy now the reason I'm doing this on a tilted surface is because Sam used to go hiking with uh, Todd all the time and that's the way I'm sure Todd would remember him best is him following him around up on the trails. Todd is an ex Navy SEAL out and exercises a lot. Put a screw in there to hold it in place. Let's see if this is going to be too much of a screw. Nope, it'll be perfect. All right, I'm going to sculpt in the stand first before I put Sam on it. A NSP brand clay soft it's a uh, non-sulfuric non-sulfur clay and what that means is that it will never ever develop a, a surface or a, a crust it'll always be just like this soft and pliable Chavant's been around since 1893 so They've made professional clay for a very, very long time. Anyway. I'll be back. Now, this is Sunday night, and I don't work on Sundays. So all I'm going to do is prepare this for tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to put a screw there as well. Just give a little more strength to the uh, armature. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. That's got it started at least. And uh, I will work out how the legs are going to be and everything like that as soon as I uh, get back to work on it tomorrow. Well, today I'm working on my dog. Yesterday I started him out. Uh, as you just saw in a video, but now it's time to put the clay on. All right, let's just take a quick moment and take a look at the opening of my soon-to-be instructional DVD on sculpting three horses and two Native Americans in a piece called Somewhere a Cowboy's Walking. This is the opening for that DVD.
right, that's as far as I'm going to get today, and I'll pick this up tomorrow.